Peace and blessings and welcome yet again guys to yet another episode where today we are going to be discussing a topic that says that how your mind works. Guys, you know whenever we talk about the mind, I get excited. The, our topic of discussion says, can I repeat? Our topic of discussion says how your mind works. Just imagine how your mind works. What is the mind? Where can you find the mind? What is the the mind. Where can you find the mind? Is the mind the brain or mind is something beyond the brain? Is the mind the left side of the brain? Is the mind the right side of the brain? Is the mind a conscious mind? Is the mind a subconscious mind? Guys, today we're going to be talking about how your mind works. Now guys, we're going to be giving reference to a computer box. Right. For our topic for today, we are going to be giving reference to a computer or computer box or a computer. Now, point number one then says the human mind is not like the computer, but the computer is like the human mind. <laughs> Have you ever heard that before, guys? The human mind is not like the computer, but the computer is like the human mind. For what designed the computer? It's not. Ish. Guys, I want you to move with me, okay? I want you to move with me today. I want you to move with me so that we can find a landing strip as we go on, so that we can land this episode nicely. What designed the laptop? What designed the computer? Is the brain. So therefore, the brain can only generate that which is alike with that's why we say the human mind is not like the computer, but the computer is like the human mind. Question, what came first? Is it the computer or the mind? <laughs> Same question comes again when we ask the question and we say, what came first? Is it the chicken or the egg? What came first? Is it the mind or the computer? What came first as well? Is it the chicken or the egg? Now, since this is a Bible-oriented channel, right? We all know what came first between the chicken and the egg. For in the beginning, God created and he said, let the animals come from the, from the land, from the dry ground. So we all know, guys, what came first in case there was anyone who was confused between the chicken and the egg. We all know what came first between the chicken and the egg. For first, it was the animal before the egg, right? But our topic for today says that how your mind works. Now, if you study the computer, you realize that it will only feed you back what you have put in it. Now, guys, I believe that we all know we all know how the computer works, right? Even our own phones today. Let's say you're watching this from a phone. Your phone can only give you back the things that you have installed in it. Not because that's all there is, but that's all that you have allowed to install in your own phone. Your laptop as well or the computer can only give you back what you have installed inside the laptop or the computer because that's all that you have allowed to go inside the computer. Do you get me, guys? Or are we, move, are we clear on that point? Right? Can I repeat it? Then we move on to the other things. The computer can only give you back what you've installed inside it. Not because that's all there is, but that's all you've allowed to go inside the computer. So if you don't install certain programs into your computer, you will not be able to run those programs. Why? Not because those programs don't exist, but you have not installed those programs into your computer and into your hard drive or into your software. This is the same thing with your mind, guys. We say that the mind can only as well feed you back the things that you have installed inside the mind. Whatever programs that you have allowed to go inside your mind, that is the program that is going to play out on the outside because those are the only programs or those are only the programs that you have allowed to go inside your mind. So therefore, the mind cannot perform some great miracle and perform this other great miracle that's going to allow you to 
produce programs that you have not allowed to go inside your mind. So therefore, the life that you are living out now, this is a life that is based on the program that you have allowed to go inside your mind. Now, guys, the program that is playing is not being guided by the conscious mind, but the program that is playing in your life right now is a program that is playing based on the subconscious mind. Now, guys, let us differentiate between the two. There is the conscious mind and there's also the subconscious mind. Now, the subconscious mind is the one that where all the programs go to. Now, let me just give you an example of a conscious of the subconscious mind. Let's say you are driving, right? Most of the time when people are driving or you, you are going somewhere or you decide to travel somewhere, right? You find yourself arriving at that place and then you start asking yourself, but how did I arrive here? Did I perform this activity? Did I do? How did I even get into a taxi that got me here? You don't know, but you just find yourself in that specific location. Now, I want you to ask yourself, what was working all along for it to allow you to get to that specific position? That's the power of the subconscious mind. Right. Whenever the conscious starts to think, the subconscious then takes effect and it starts to play whatever programs have been allowed to go into it. Regardless of what program have been allowed to go in it, that's the program that's going to play. Whether you know it or whether you are aware of it or not, that's the program that starts to play. So if you're not happy with the things that are happening in your life, start assessing and asking yourself, what is the program that has gone into my subconscious mind? For whatever program that has gone into your subconscious mind, that is what is going to play out in the public, in the manifestation that is going to become your reality. Do you get it, guys? Like the same thing that we're given and we're saying that if you're driving, sometimes you drive a long distance. And when you're driving, you're busy thinking about other things and you don't even know, guys, you're not even aware of the things that you're doing. But the subconscious mind, because a program of driving has been installed in the subconscious mind, it is the subconscious mind that is going to take over when you start to think while you're still driving. This is why you now find yourself at a certain place and you start asking yourself, but did I pay for that toll gate? Did I stop on that robot? What happened? How did I even get here? Because now it was the subconscious mind that had taken over. The program that is in the subconscious mind, that is what took over. That is the power of the subconscious mind, guys. And that's why we're trying to explain to you today how your mind works. Your mind is divided into two. There's the conscious and the subconscious. The subconscious is the one that brings out the programs that you've allowed to be installed in it, whether it be good programs, whether it be viruses, whether it be whatever programs that you have put in it, that is what the subconscious mind is going to produce to you. The program that you install in it is what you get back. Unless I install the latest Windows version, I can only get the benefits of the Windows 11. Or let me, let me rephrase that, guys. So let's say I am running on a Windows 8 model. Is it possible for me to get the benefits of the Windows 11 if I have not installed that program into the computer? It's not possible, right? I cannot get the benefits of the Windows 11 if I'm still operating on the software of the Windows 8. This is the same thing with our mind. Our mind cannot give us the benefits of the Windows 11 program if we have not installed that program into our mind. If we're still operating from the lack or the programming of lack and scarcity and all of those things, whether we are now in 2024, where there's now abundance and people are now making uh, big moves on the market and all of that, but because your mind is still operating on a Windows 8 program, you are still going to produce Windows 8 results. Not because that's all there is, but that's all that is in the mind, right? That is all that has been fed onto the subconscious mind. So for you to be able to change your life, you need to change the results. You need to change whatever programming that has been put into your subconscious mind. For that is what is making your reality today, right? The biggest computer in the world, guys, is your mind. What programs are you putting in your mind today? Now we are wrapping up our episode for today. Now the question I have for you is, what programs 
are you putting into your mind today? For remember, we said whatever things that you allow to go into your mind, they will go straight into your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is going to take that and make it important and say, since this is coming into our life, since this is coming into the mind, this must be important to this person. So therefore, how can we magnify this and make sure that he gets to experience this reality? Now, whether you like the information that you're putting in, the subconscious mind does not know. It cannot reject for it can only accept the information that you put in. In it. So if you're busy putting information that you don't like into the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind guys cannot determine and it cannot select information and rejects. It is only the conscious mind that does that. Right. So I want to ask you a question. What programs are you putting into your mind today? What software are you running on? Are you still running on the Windows 8 or the Windows 11 model? If you don't upgrade the software, the hardware will suffer. As we close our episode for today, guys, this is how your mind works, guys. The mind works in two ways. There's the subconscious and there's the conscious mind. Whatever programs that you allow to go into the subconscious mind, that is what you're going to produce in your life. Now, one person might then say, but how then do I change this program that has gone into my subconscious mind? Now, guys, the, the one way that you can change the program that is going into your subconscious mind is to play a program that you want to become your reality right as you go to sleep your mind goes into this state there's a state of theta that your mind goes into so when the mind goes into that state you need to be playing the program that you want to play in your life you need to play the program that you want to override into your subconscious mind for you cannot fight an existing model the only way to change an existing model to come to have a new model is to create a new one and make the other one obsolete right so for you when you go to sleep play the program that you want to become your life play whatever program play whatever podcast that you want to 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 have those certain ideas in your life. And that is going to go straight into your subconscious mind. And as you do this on a repeated state, and as you do this on a daily basis, this is now going to become your reality because now your subconscious mind is going to remove the other program that was there and now take this new program that you've allowed it to experience, right? And I want you to go and try this, guys, as we wrap up our episode for today. But remember, the subconscious and the conscious what programs are you allowing to go into your subconscious? For that is what is going to determine your reality. Now, until we meet again on the next episode, it's been a pleasure. May the peace and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore, guys. Until we meet again on the next episode, it's been a pleasure. Now, until next time, ciao.